Hei Gong. Welcome to Alona Beach, located on Penglao Island, connected to Bohol. A beautiful area, but a bit overrated if you ask me. In this video, I'll show you why. To arrive in Penglao, we took a ferry from Cebu City. If you're planning to take any ferries through your trips in the Philippines, make sure you arrive early. It can be a little bit chaotic in the ferry terminal. You need time to pay the terminal fee. Sometimes after that, you have a port fee. You may also have to get your luggage checked in. And sometimes they even have to send the dogs to sniff your luggage. And you might want to keep a jumper with you because with some companies like Ocean Jet, the aircon is crazy. It was actually freezing on board. The ferry arrives in the town of Tagbilaran. If you're looking for a way to reach your hotel from the ferry terminal, I would say the best way is actually a minivan. No need to book anything ahead. All the minivans would be waiting by the ferry terminal and you can negotiate with them and pair up with other travelers to actually share a van. Now, I'm pretty sure Alona Beach used to be absolutely lovely. But I think when you're planning a trip to the Philippines, if you're watching YouTube videos or you're reading travel blogs, make sure you read or you watch videos that are actually fairly recent because it is a country that can change very rapidly. And I am under the impression that Alona Beach has changed a lot over the last five, six years. My sister actually visited about six years ago and she loved it. She remembers it as a little village on the beach. Today, it is extremely touristy, with big fast food chains like McDonald's or Jollibee. It is very busy, almost like El Nido, but it doesn't have the amazing landscape that El Nido has. Now, don't get me wrong, it is not bad. And if you like a busy atmosphere with a lot of people from across the globe, a lot of bars with expensive uh, imported alcohol, then you might love it. There are a lot of lovely restaurants along the beach, nice atmosphere. And if you don't want to pay for a restaurant, you've got those little barbecues with the local cuisine, like those lovely chicken feet. To be completely honest, my first impressions of Alona Beach might have been BAs by the fact that we had a terrible excursion. Literally a shitty day. It was the most ridiculous island hopping I've ever done. And you know, when you do a tour or an excursion and everything goes wrong, well, sometimes it's okay because the tour guide is nice. Well, that was not the case. The captain was really rude. To be fair, in their defense, the day before, the Coast Guard had stopped all the island hoppings because of the wind. So it might have been doubled busy the day I've done it. The excursion was not cheap. To give you an idea, it was about triple the price from what I had paid on a similar tour a few days earlier in Malapasqua Island. We were the last boat to depart, almost. So when we got to the first stops, the dolphins, dozens of boats were already there. The full day was a fiasco. To be completely fair with them, we did see dolphins and we did swim with turtles. But it was just ridiculously busy. Hundreds of boats in the same spots. In the snorkeling spots, you couldn't even dive down because it was really dangerous to come back up because you had hundreds of tourists above you. Same for the turtles. I did spot one turtle and I started to swim with it. Underwater, of course. And the next thing you know, I've got at least 20 people above me, including two tour guides and two boats. Too much. Too busy. Too much. You might see some amazing videos on Instagram of people swimming with turtles. Yeah, what they don't show you is that there are hundreds of people around them. Through the full day, we honestly felt like we were treated like sheep. This is the beautiful Damaluan Beach. And to be honest, it's not busy. It's a very long, white, sandy beach with a few bars and restaurants. It's very nice. My hotel was in this area. It's about 30 minutes walk from the town center. My hotel was a nice little place. They tried to market themselves as a backpacker place. 
although it was a hotel, not a hostel. But then, if you wanted to play with any of the board games they had available, you'd have to rent it. That's not very backpackerish, if you ask me. That's fine, I don't need to play Monopoly in paradise. Now, of course, I'm not telling you you should skip Alona Beach. It is beautiful. If I had to do it again, I would come again, but I wouldn't stay here and I wouldn't do the island hopping. Panglao is connected to Bohol, and Bohol is amazing. Bohol is a must-see. I'll do a future video on Bohol as well. And of course, like everywhere in the Philippines, we had some great food. Fantastic seafood, especially. I went for a fish soup called Tinola Tangige. It's a classic, apparently. Another cool thing to see on Panglao Island is Hinagdaden Cave. On a tuk-tuk, it's about 20 minutes from Alona Beach. It's quite cool because you have some kind of a little underground lake and you can swim in it. We went early morning, it had just opened, so that was quite cool, not too busy yet. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that little video. If you have visited Alona Beach yourself, and if you have any tips for future travelers, feel free to leave them in the comments, of course. Bye!